Mic check, mic check. Let's talk about how rigged the NBA is. Mellow ball. Three fouls in the first quarter. Right? That ain't the problem, though. The problem is how me and I'm sure hundreds of others or maybe even thousands of others Put LaMelo on our parlays. I don't know how many assists y'all bet. But I bet nine. Let's, let's check it out. Hold up. Mouse tripping. Let me cut the mouse off. Cut it back on. Like, why I won't scroll? Let's see. Why I won't scroll? See, they don't want to, they don't even want me to show you this stuff, bro. But yeah, let's talk about it, right? You see that nine assists. I bet ten assists, so that's why it says nine point five. Let me tell you how weird this NBA is. I feel like the NBA. Like, they should create a cash shop or something because that's basically what they want us to do. They just want us to donate money to them. And all these uh, bed naps, whether you bet with DraftKings, FanDuel, Bet365, uh, who else? Prize picks, whoever. It messed up everybody if you, if you had that in your picks. Yeah, so I feel like the NBA or the Bednap should create their own cash app or something. Because that's all they want us to do is just donate money. Because when we bet on these games, they do not be trying to pay out. That's why everything be rigged. Let's talk about the Hornets and Pistons tonight. LaMelo, three fouls in the first quarter. Okay. I didn't bet on the Hornets to win because I didn't know who was going to win that game. Because it, it get tricky, like. A lot of times I bet against the Pistons and then they win them games. I'm like, bro, they a sorry ass team. Like, how they be win? All right, but anyway, um, so I just bet on stats tonight. And look at this, man. He had nine assists, whole fourth quarter. Wouldn't get an assist, right? One time he did pass to Grant Williams. And Grant passed up on the shot. He didn't even shoot it. Bro, he could have shot the three. If if anybody know what pass I'm talking about. LaMelo passed it right to Grant. He was right at the wing. And he didn't even shoot the ball. I'm like, yeah, they not trying to give us these 10 assists. And then I'm like, the Pistons or, or whoever going to win this game before LaMelo could even get his 10 assists. This for all the sports betters out there. For anybody tuning in. So, I'm watching the game, and then they go overtime. I'm like, I was hoping that the whole fourth quarter, I'm like, man, I know he ain't going to get this 10th assist in the fourth. I hope they go overtime. I hope they go overtime. I kept saying it. And then LaMelo gets the last side of the game and misses. He could have easily made that shot. He makes them floaters all the time. It was a midi, a little floater. So, I'm like, Okay, they're going to overtime. No, no, let's let's go back to the fourth quarter. That foul he got, I forgot who he fouled, but he it was um a charge, an offensive foul. They say he hooked his arm around, and the uh, Pistons player kicked his leg up and sold the play. Right, I'm like, come on, bro, that was not that shouldn't have been his fifth foul. Like that's where it started right there. Like forget the three fouls in the first quarter. It started. With that fifth foul in the fourth. 
where the Pistons player sold the play and kicked his leg up, and then they had to go review it because they challenged it. I'm like, man, I see how this game about to go. I'm sitting there tweeting it. I said, man, I said, LaMelo going to file out before he can even get his 10th assist. Let's go to that tweet. Oh, man. This is crazy, bro. What's up with this not scrolling, bro? I can't even... OBS tripping. Like, I can't even scroll and show you the damn tweet I'm trying to go to. You know what? I got something for that. They being funny. Like, why I can't... <laughs> Come on, bro. You messing with my stream now. Bro, now my now my tweets not popping up when I search in the day. What the fuck? Bro, they don't want yeah, they don't want me to show you this, bro. Cuz why I can't scroll all of a sudden? Why like usually the website works. I'm I'm in OBS. What the hell? Oh my gosh. And my blackballed on Twitter, bro. I know I'm like blackballed on my other account. Look, they showing every tweet but the one I'm trying to. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah, this is crazy. I can't even show you what I'm trying to say. Uh, Let me make the. Let me see if I make this smaller or something. I don't know. What they got going on right now. Like, why I won't let me scroll is crazy, right? And I hit down on the keyboard and won't let me. Well, let me just read them out loud because I know what I tweeted, bro. This is crazy. It won't, like, let me show you what I'm talking about. And then I search my name and old tweets is popping up. It's like, hold up. Yeah, it's like, it's only letting me show the first tweets. This is weird. Very weird. But yeah, I, I said it myself. I said, man, watch LaMelo file out before he can even get the 10 assists. <laughs> and then this is how connected it be with other games. The Spurs ain't got nothing to do with the Hornets and Pistons game, right? I bet on Chris Paul assists. Chris Paul, I bet eight assists for Chris Paul. I said it. I said, so now Chris Paul got to wait until the Hornets game is over with before he gets his eight of, uh, before he gets his eighth assist. So we can't cash out because if he, see like earlier in the game, it like my cash out was showing. Like I could have cashed out early, but I was just waiting because I'm thinking, yeah, LaMelo going to get these assists. And I was thinking Chris Paul was gonna get these assists, which he did. But the Hornets game ended first. Even and they went into overtime. And it still ended first. So the cash out disappears. So I can't get no money, right? But like if the Hornets game is still going and Chris Paul hits his eighth assist, I could have cashed out because it would have popped back up. But you see why I tweeted this. I said, now Chris Paul going to wait until the Hornets game is over with before he gets the eighth assist. And guess what happened? After the game was over, he got the assist, bro. Shit is ridiculous, man. Every, like, everything is rigged. Everything is, dis is connected. It's like, come on, bro. Hold up, man. Let me see why this shit not letting me scroll. Like, what the fuck? Can't even... The hell I can't scroll up for? Since when, bro? Since when I can't scroll on the... 
on the browser. Look, it's only letting me do that. And then if I hit down on the arrows, it's not even. Yeah, this is weird, bro. They know what's up. They know what I'm. They know what's going on. Oh my gosh. So I can only hit. I can only do this. Y'all see it moving a little bit? Like it won't let me scroll down to see my old tweets. That's cool. I'll go to the media since y'all want to be funny. But I think some of them I didn't have media. I was just typing words. Uh, nah, that's an old tweet, bro. This is weird right now. This y'all acting weird right now, bro. But yeah, let's go to that Chris Paul. Look, this is after the game. Like I said, Chris Paul got to wait until the Hornets game is over. With you see, final score: Hornets won one twenty three to one twenty one. And then Chris Paul joint turned green for me. But it's like, bro, it's too late now. <laughs> it's too late. You, it, My parlay was already messed up. Because right here, when the game was still going on, I couldn't cash out. You see it say cash out suspended at the top. And Chris Paul only had seven assists. Bro, it's all connected. Shit is weird, bro. And I'm thinking, like, what is the NBA doing? to where even the players are now going along with it. You remember, like, back in the uh, early 2000s, Rasheed Wallace used to get a lot of texts because he would cuss the refs out. Now we know why he was cussing the refs out, because they were rigging the games. Nowadays, in 2024, it's like, and for the past maybe, what, five years, it's like the players are going along with the rig. So I'm thinking, like, what, what is the NBA blackmailing these players with? They, like, they got to be blackmailing them, right? It's got to be something, bro. If if it ain't the Italian mob, if it ain't the Italian mob uh, blackmail, it's got to be the NBA. Like, like, hey, bro, if you don't um. Hey, if you don't follow this script, we gonna, you know, we gonna mess your career up, or we gonna, we gonna hit you with one of them uh, Miles Bridges charges, or we gonna, you know, it probably just be weird stuff happening, or you gonna get, you won't get that mass contract like you. It's something, bro. I don't know what it is, cause I'm not there, but from the outside looking in, you could tell something is going on to where the players are now going along with the rig. And it's not just LaMelo in the Hornets. Even though LaMelo didn't get uh 20 points the other game when the uh when his coach set him out the game because he said Trey Mann was the hotter hand and and then y'all still lost the game. Like that was stupid, bro. I was bro, I was thinking the whole time, yo, this Hornets coach is probably about to get fired or either he down with Vegas too and and that was part of the script. Because why would you sit LaMelo, your star player, and y'all needed him, and then y'all still lost? So it's like a lot of little stuff they do, like down to the referees or certain weird stuff to be happening in game. It's like, it's all connected, bro. And it's all for us sports bettors not to make any real money, like. I don't understand it, bro. Because, like, I could have easily bet on the Hornets to win because I've been betting on them lately, and they've been winning some. But it was tricky because I'm like, every time I bet against the Pistons, the Pistons end up winning. And if I would have bet on the Hornets to win, the Pistons probably would have won it. I'm not saying that the bets all depend on me, but a lot of other people bet the same way I do, and then that's how Vegas gets their odds, and then – they make them calls and then the rig kicks in, if you get what I'm saying. Like, they go by the odds and how many people bet, how many percentage bet this and bet that or connected that in a parlay with that. So that's why I be saying, like, other games be connected to the the game you probably watching. You be like, yo, like, it's, it's so weird, bro. I'm sure some of y'all out there understand what I'm saying, though. Can't make this shit up, man. 
I cut it off after that because I'm like, bro, it's no point of watching the Spurs game because I knew Chris Paul was going to get his eight assists. And, like, they don't even got Wimby in the game, so I, I'm not trying to watch that. And then who else played tonight? The Lakers? I ain't even bet on um, I bet on a player from the Lakers, but I'm not about to watch that game. This is crazy, bro. It's like they don't even want to pay out little chunk change, bro. They act like they act like the payout was supposed to be a thousand or ten thousand dollars, and they made sure I didn't win or something. <laughs> it was little, some little chunk change, bro, and, and they don't even want you to win that. That's how serious it is, cause it ain't just me. It's like millions of people betting. So, yeah, they not they not one. They don't want to pay out. They'll take our money with the quickness. And they did uh, last night too with the 76ers. Paul George got hurt instantly. I'm I wasn't watching the game at first. I was just looking at the app. I'm like, why does Paul George still got two points in the second quarter? So I went online to see what was going on. And this man got the same injury as he did like a couple weeks ago uh, or a month ago. The same injury, like a hyper extended. I'm like, bro. PGB he be like. I don't know if he be landing wrong or, like, I don't know. He be, I don't know. That was weird. I feel like this one might have been staged, though. I don't know if he really injured. I could be wrong. But what gets me is, like, okay, if a player is injured and they don't play the game, but the sports betting apps have their props up and you bet on their props, but that player end up not playing, that, that bet is void and you can get your money back. Or you can, like, those bets will be voided out of that, but your other parlay bets will still stay, and it won't affect that parlay. But this is crazy because if a player plays the game and they get injured, the bet still stands. Like, that's what the DraftKings support told me. I'm like, bro, y'all just stealing people money at this point. That man got two points and then got injured. Like, imagine all the fake injuries these players doing. I feel like that um, a couple weeks ago, Zion didn't really get injured. With the hamstring? Nah, that, um, nah, bro. Some of these players be faking these injuries. So if a player gets injured during the game, the bet still stands, and it's going to mess your bet up. It's going to mess your whole bet up. So I'm a type of person, I don't just bet one. Like, you see how I bet this? I didn't just bet that. I got multiple other parlays. So, like, if I got these same bets in them other parlays, it's messing up every single parlay. Like, I'm not just mad over one parlay. It's like I got multiple parlays out there. And then, see, LaMelo didn't get these 10 assists, so that messed up, like, more than this, just this parlay. So I'm like, yeah, they, they stole my money. That's why I said... Yeah, y'all should just create a cash app at this point, bro. Because, like, we just donate money to y'all. Like, like I've been in the, I've been in the negative on these uh, bed naps. I ain't, um, I'll win a couple, but then I'll lose way more than I win. And I'm not betting like, I'm not no addict. And don't tell me I need to call no number, you dumbasses out there. I'm not out here betting a hundred dollars here, a fifty there, or, you know what I'm saying? It's just little chump change bets. But that shit will start to add up. Ten dollars here, five dollars there. Or if you you bet a lot of dollar bets, it's like playing the lottery. You, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can bet a dollar, but you combine multiple bets on that parlay, and it'll the payout will be like hundreds of dollars, but we don't be winning these bets <laughs> because they be rigging this shit. So it don't be no payout most of the time. I like I think the last bet where I really put some money in and actually won was that Angel Reese bet. But that's because it was a, a no sweat. So I was like, yeah, let me just put a lot of money on this. And when it says no sweat, that means if you lose the bet, you'll get your money back. So I won't tripping off that. So the no sweat bets, you can actually put a lot of money in because you know you'll get that back. But some of these other bets, so I'm just betting my cash straight up and it's it's not a no sweat, so I don't get that money back. Like, yeah, I'm losing a lot of those, bro. 
Like, I wish I could scroll my Twitter right now, but it's like, this OBS is tripping. It don't even want me to show y'all. That's how you know something going on. I can't even show y'all what's up, bro. How I can't scroll? Every time I get on OBS and I get on the internet browser, I can scroll whatever website I'm on. Now I can't scroll all of a sudden. This shit is crazy to me. Shit is crazy, bro. Yeah, man, I just had to, I had to let out a rant, bro. Because <laughs> this is, it's getting out of hand. Like, I've been, I've been knowing the NBA was rigged, and I've been talking about this for years. I got hella videos out there. You can check my YouTube. You ain't got a PS5 yet. It's not, um, it's spelled like this. You spell it all in one word. You ain't got a PS5 yet. My Twitter is you ain't got a PS5 yet, but it doesn't have the Y and the O in you. It's just the letter U and then ain't got a PS5 yet. That's my Twitter. But my YouTube is actually, you spell it all out. You ain't got a PS5 yet. Shit is crazy, bro. Matter of fact, I'll go to my YouTube and show y'all uh, um some of the videos I made about sports betting and being rigged and stuff. I I'm just um I'm just looking up something right quick. Damn, this is ridiculous, man. I can't believe this. Bro, LaMelo, you just sold me twice within like I think it's been within a week or Within a week and a half, something like that. Cause the last game you supposed to got twenty points, but the the coach set him down on the bench. Like I don't even think that was a whole week ago. That might have been like the other day. The coach set him down and benched him. I'm like, man, come on, bro. You know it's all set up. Like, so you just gonna bench him and then he not gonna get his points. Like, or he not gonna even, at least. Attempt to try to win the game? Like, come on, dog. Shit getting so weird. I'm about to delete all this shit. I, don't, I already deleted FanDuel, but then I just... I, I've i been betting on DraftKings lately, but I'm about to delete that too, man. It's, it's no point of betting, bro. Like, I just be betting for fun. I ain't trying to, like... I'm not trying to win no crazy amount of money. I know I'm not going to win that because cause, they going to always rig it. Like down to even back to the WNBA finals. I bet on the um the Minnesota Lynx, which we know they should have won it. But it was so rigged that the damn Liberty won. And it's like, bro, you they show you what they doing. Like they showing you that this shit is rigged. Can't make it up, man. It's it's ridiculous, bro. And y'all know who run the NBA. I'm not just saying Adam Silver, but look at his last name, and, and that'll tell you what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to say the word, because you know how this streaming shit go. But you know who runs the NBA, and these are the same people that run the sporting apps, the betting apps, the um DraftKings. Look up who the owners of DraftKings are, and you will see what I'm talking about. Look up who the owner of FanDuel is, or Barstool Sports is. You'll see what I'm talking about. <laughs> Shit is crazy, bro. All this shit is rigged. Yeah, it's no it's like it's no point, bro. It's no point of betting, bro. It's no point of betting. Unless you just going to like bet on one game and don't combine them in a parlay. And you know for sure that one game, that, that whoever, whatever you bet on is, is a for sure bet, that's the only time to bet. And most times, the for sure bets are in the negative. So you got to bet a crazy amount to even get any type of profit. And the profit don't be that much. Say like it'd be like minus 600 or something. You got to bet like... A crazy amount just to win like an extra twenty or forty dollars. It's not. It's not like you bet a hundred and you gonna win two hundred. Nah, you bet a hundred, you probably gonna win like one forty or one sixty or something like that. It depend on what the odds are in the um in the bet in the parlay. 
That's why we be having to combine these damn, all these random games and random parlays and player props just to get some money because everything be negative. If you see, ten assists for Lamelo was negative two fifty five, and then eight assists for Chris Paul was negative two hundred. So I had to add this Dalton Connect points just to get a positive because that's plus one twenty. So that it like offsets these two negatives, and then it, it makes it like plus whatever. Um, shit is crazy, bro. It's crazy. I can't I can't scroll and and show y'all my tweets I've been saying though. That's crazy, right? Like it's it's stopping right here. Like I'm trying to scroll, but it's it's only letting me do this. That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn, bro. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna just bet the rest of my money that's in the uh in my bed nap, and then after that, man, I'm done, bro. Unless I know it's like a guarantee. Like sometimes, uh, who's guaranteed a lot of times? The Chiefs are most times guaranteed, and um, the Redskins they've been balling a lot. But the Chiefs are definitely, like, almost guaranteed. Yeah, I can't find what I was looking for, man. I hate when I can't find something, and you know it should be easy to find, but the damn website tries to make it tough. Yeah, bro. The NBA is rigged. If you ain't figured it out yet, not just the NBA, all sports. If the game is on a bed nap, it most likely is rigged, including the World Series. It don't make no sense no more, bro. Makes no sense, bro. <sighs> I think I'm done betting for the night. I know some games on tomorrow, but man, it's. There's no point, bro. Even when you think you got the bet, like, like who did the um, the Spurs won the other day without Wimby, and I forgot who they played. I think it was the Thunder. I'm like, come on, bro, the Thunder. You know how good the Thunder are, and they lost to the Spurs without Wimby. I'm like, come on, bro. This shit is ridiculous. This shit is ridiculous.
it's like you got to bet on the upsets, but then sometimes even when you bet on the upset, they find a way to rig that so they don't have to pay you, bro. Like, imagine all the evil shit going on behind closed doors at, at these NBA meetings. They not even talking about basketball. They talking about these bets and how you're going to professionally sell the game. Like, you, yeah, make it look like you hooping, but then it be little stuff you do that you be like, what the fuck? That was weird. Or or your coach sets the star player out so they don't get their points. It's just a lot of weird shit, bro. It's a lot of that going on, bro. Some of y'all might not understand this, but give it time. Keep watching these games. You'll see what I'm talking about. Don't call this a conspiracy. This is not a conspiracy. This is the truth. This is facts. <laughs> you don't believe me? Go watch sports. Some of y'all don't even be watching the games. Y'all just look at the highlights after on ESPN or something. No, watch the game and, and you'll see all the weird shit I'm talking about. And I'm about to show you this um this video on my YouTube of how they be rigging some of this stuff. Like, shit is weird, bro. Shit is weird, bro. Should make you not want to even. Like, of course, it make you not want to bet. It make you not even want to watch and support the NBA, bro, or whatever sports you like. Like, I'm sure some of y'all be seeing these NFL games that's rigged. Let's go! Oh snap! We got a subscriber. Yes, sir. Let's go. Real game of worldwide. Man. Man, bro. I think I'm done ranting. <laughs> Not really, but I'm done with that portion. Let me go to this, um... Go to this video. Now let's see if I go to YouTube. Will it let me scroll? Cause why the hell it wouldn't let me scroll on my damn? Hold up, they tripping. They talking about. Oh, I typed it in wrong. I'm tripping. Let's try now. <laughs> 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 Uh, 
playlist. You know what? Let me just type it in because I ain't, I ain't got time to look. I got a lot of re look. Remember the time ESPN accidentally leaked the uh, script? Welcome back to NBA Today, presented by Hotels.com. Game five: Warriors versus Grizzlies. That's tonight in Memphis. Remember that. And then it actually happened in real life. And that was the playoff. So, yeah, they definitely rigging everything from regular game to um, to playoff to the final. Look, look at that. They just let them go. That's a hey, that's how you know they be fixing the score. Like they know everybody bet that Dallas got to win by 11 or more. Right. So you'll get more money. They letting them score and come back. Like, they not going to let them come back and win, but they letting them come back and cutting it down to, like, 10, maybe. It's, bro, this shit so fucking rigged. Nigga about to stop watching this shit, man. That was my own team I caught rigging the game, bro. The Dallas Mavericks, yeah, that's my team. Hey, this is more proof that the NBA is rigged. Ninety-two, ninety-five, right? Watch this. Watch this. They win it, right? Also, um, Cat never tried to score over twenty-four points. It, it was a reason why. Hey, Cat, tell the people why you ain't try to score over 24 and you had multiple chances to. You had multiple uh, mismatches in the paint. Barbecue chicken. You ain't even tried to call for the ball or nothing. Watch. Y'all see that? That's proof that the NBA is rigged, bro. He clearly threw that ball out of bounds on purpose. That won't know. That won't know, uh, oh, you get nervous and, and kind of throw it a little high. No, nah, he threw the ball out of bounds. Like, he looked where he was throwing the ball out of bounds. And, come on, bro. And here come the rig. Here come the rig, y'all. It don't get no, it don't get no. <laughs> hey, it don't get more stage than that, bro. Damn. And guess who won the game? Guess who went to overtime and won the game? Hey, get that parlay money back, man. Hey, parlay! <laughs> We send it down to our courtside reporter who has not been on the air for.
can't find this the exact video I'm trying to show you. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of playlists. Let me see. Come on, bro. You ain't got one yet. You ain't got a PS5 yet. Yeah, so the NFL script leaked, right? But don't be fooled, cause this is what they want you to do. They want you to bet on the game. No, that's not about to happen. But it's gonna be similar. The 49ers. I got an email from Michelin Ness earlier, and they advertising the 49ers the last time they won something. So I'm thinking they know the script too. But it's going to be the 49ers and the Chiefs. They want you to bet the Ravens because that's going to run the parlays up. But then you're going to lose all your money. But I got a good feeling it's going to be the Chiefs and 49ers in the Super Bowl. Watch this. Man, the NFL just got caught slipping. The NFL is slipping, all right? My buddy just sent this to me. He lives in the Memphis area. This is a local news station, okay? Reba McIntyre, Usher, Post Malone are slated to perform at the Super Bowl. But look what it says. At San Francisco 49ers and Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl matchup on February 11th. Do we look dumb to you? I mean, honestly. And by the way, shout out to my boy Dantry. He just released a song called 90s Bills as well. It's on Spotify. It's pretty sick. But NFL. We started off by seeing the purple and the red, right? And that theory has just been circulating around social media from the beginning of the season. And then you throw that in our face. You have local news stations already saying the 49ers and Baltimore Ravens Super Bowl going into it. Man, I'll tell you what, if this Super Bowl does happen, we got to start questioning some things right now, ladies and gents. We got to start questioning some things, sincerely. Did I already show this? I think I already showed this. Look, look at that. They just let them go. That's hey, that's how you know they be fixing the score. Like, they know everybody bet that Dallas got to win by 11 or more, right? So you'll get more money. They letting them score and come back. Like, they not going to let them come back and win, but they letting them come back and cutting it down to like 10 maybe. It's, bro, this shit so fucking rigged. Nigga about to stop watching this shit, man. Here for the moment in this game, he's not taking any chances. He'll call time. What do you think we're going to see coming out of this timeout? I did not click his video. It just, I should on autoplay, huh? Cut that off. Um. Uh... That's a seven minute video. I ain't gonna play that one. Of course, NBA 2K is rigged. <laughs> Let me uh, filter this. Come on, bro. I wish you could search the damn playlist.
What can I search right here? Okay. I never hit this little search bar right here before. I didn't even know that. It's this one video, I got a lot of it combined. This might be the playlist. Brooks comes off a screen. Bain to Clark, Clark to Morant. Morant on the drive, scoop layup, no good. It's over. Golden State holds on. On and wins game one. What a thriller here in Memphis. Moran had a great look similar to his drive at one game fee in the first game five in the first round, but unable to get it to fall this time. And Golden State wins it. This video right here. Yeah, so let's talk about these read uh games going on all weekend. First the uh Warriors up four. In the fourth quarter against the Hornets, what was that last night or the other day? They up four in the fourth. All they had to do was close them out. Y'all see how I Hornets can didn't have right Lamelo or Terry Rozier. Let me pause that. You see how I can scroll on here, but when I went to my Twitter, I couldn't scroll and look at my tweets. Yeah, they don't want me to show you what was going on, bro. Yeah, so I, let's talk. I got way more proof on my Twitter. About these rigged uh but games. This is uh this video right here is just showing how sports be rigged and it's all connected with the betting apps and everything. Just just watch this. It's going on all weekend. First the uh Warriors up four in the fourth quarter against the Hornets. What was that last night or the other day? They up four in the fourth. All they had to do was close them out. Hornets didn't have LaMelo or Terry Rozier. You got Dennis Smith Jr. clamping Steph. But when Steph played against the Heat the other day, oh, he cooking Tyler Hero, breaking angles. And you know what I'm saying? But he's struggling against the Hornets, and then they lose. And I put money on the Hornets. I mean, on the Warriors. Then you got today, Panthers, Falcons. Walker. First Panthers down. um to his left. score a Hail Mary and touchdown Fires down field, in the, in the end of the game, right? Like, oh, they go up. Guys. Well, no, they tied the game. They could have won it with, a, with the extra Whoa. point, but the refs called a flag. Yeah. Unsportsmanlike comment because, what's his name, DJ Moore or whatever Moore's first name is. He took his oh, helmet off and celebrated. So that made them Flag was thrown during push the, the extra point back, and they missed the field goal, winning the overtime and lost. Like, come on, bro. Can't make this shit up. Who is rigging these games, my nigga? Carolina back. 48 yard extra point attempt by Pinheiro is no good. So give credit to Moore for making the catch, but. You can't do that. You've got to keep your composure. This is the Lakers what? suck yesterday. They suck again today. Hey, look at this bullshit. <laughs> Lakers been 0-5, right? And they play a good-ass team, the Nuggets. I'm thinking they're going to go 0-6. And guess what? The Lakers win. Come on, bro. Like, I'm not even betting wrong. I'm betting on some of the right shit. It's just the, they fixing these games. Like, this shit is frustrating as a bitch. Like, damn, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to have fun with the shit, but, like, when you fix the game, it it take the fun out the shit. It's like, damn, just keep the money, bro. Y'all, y'all that petty. Like, it's like, 
when the fucking bets go in in Vegas, they make a call or something, and then I don't know if the refs hear it in their ear or the higher ups hear it. Or like, what the fuck is going on where they got? <laughs> Come on, my nigga. Like, <laughs> damn. This shit is crazy, bro. Like, it's right in front of our face. Some people probably, like, the average fan not going to see that shit. Some people don't even bet. But the average fan is not going to see that shit. They going to think, oh, oh, that was a good game, bro. Oh, you should have saw it. Nah, nigga. That shit was fixed like a motherfucker. And I'm sitting here, I'm watching the NBA games. I'm watching the NFL games. And all them shits is rigged, bro. From football to basketball to the World Series to boxing matches. All of it, man. Vegas run this sports shit. So if you think you're going to just put high stakes or like put a lot of bread on some, some junk, man, you forget about it. Because they going to... You might... Say you on one of the uh the apps, Barstool, DraftKings, uh, BetMGM, FanDuel, and you putting in them parlays. You might get a couple of them right, but they're going to find a way to rig the system, bro. And they're going to make their money. And you ain't going to make shit. That's just... That's how it's been for years, man. Just... <laughs> Ask that uh, old NBA ref that was betting on the games. I'm going to leave it at that. Come on, bro. You ain't got one yet? You ain't got a PS5 yet? Come on, bro. You ain't got one yet? Yeah, man, so that was just to show you how these, <clears throat> how the sports world is, professional sports, and now even college sports, because you know the players are getting paid from the NIL deals, so yeah, a lot of them games are definitely rigged now, it used to be real, because they was fighting their way to get to professional leagues, now the college is tampered with, and even those games are rigged. So you can't trust none nowadays. If the game is on a betting app and you can bet on who wins the game or who wins the boxing match, uh, Tyson and Jake Paul, <coughs> yeah, that that won a real cost. Um, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, anything anything on these betting apps is rigged, bro. You know, like a lot of y'all should have knew. That of course Tyson could have won, and even though he's 57, 58, yeah, he could have won and knocked him out. But it's rigged. And it was rigged for the great white height. So for anybody out there feeling down that you lost money betting on Tyson, uh you should have never bet that because I mean, even though I, even I knew not to bet that. Like, come on, bro. But I, I still didn't even bet on Jake Paul either because I'm like, man, Tyson going to knock this boy out. But then I saw the whole play. I'm like, oh, hell. Yeah. That boy was holding back punches and shit. Like, he could have knocked him out easy. Tyson was holding back punches, showing his cheeks on Netflix a lot. Like, why, are you, why is this man naked in the locker room, bro, with his cheeks out on the damn Thursday afternoon? <laughs> what, what that boy said, double cheeked up. On a Friday night <laughs> on Netflix Live, and everybody's Netflix was buffering <laughs> and lagging. A <laughs> hundred million people saw your cheeks, bro. Pause. No ditty. But yeah, man, this is crazy, bro. All sports are rigged basketball, football, baseball, boxing, whatever you want to, you know. I don't really watch too much soccer, so I, I don't know. I can't speak on soccer. But I'm pretty sure it's some shady shit going on with that, too. And hockey. I don't watch them, too. So, 
Yeah, man, that's all I wanted to say. I wanted to hop on and um let y'all know that if you bet on LaMelo Ball getting 10 assists tonight, then, um yeah, that's what happened. They rigged the game. And they went to overtime, and he fouled out with only a second into overtime. Only a second passed in overtime or a couple seconds, and that man fouled out. He knew he had five fouls. And it, it wasn't like it was a shooting foul where, like, it, it was all it all depended on the refs. Nah, this was a dumb, petty-ass foul. This was a fast break, like, transition foul. I think either LaMelo, somehow he either lost the ball or somebody stole the ball. And then the person that got the ball on the fast break, he just reached and fouled him. Like, bro, that's a transition take foul or whatever. And... Either way, you knew that you had five fouls and you just fired him on purpose so you didn't get your 10 assists. Because, of course, LaMelo would have got that 10 assists in, what, five minutes of overtime? Or was it four minutes? He definitely would have got that 10th assist. And a lot of people would have got paid. Let's go back to Twitter right quick. Um, Because I was, I noticed a lot of people tweets. A lot of people bet on 10 assists for LaMelo. It won't just me. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's see if they'll let me scroll this time. Cause damn, bro. Okay, I can I can search. Hold up. I can I can search, but it wouldn't let me scroll. Don't show nothing crazy. Hold on. You know how Twitter be. You gotta be careful on this joint. <laughs> you wonder why it's called X now? Yeah. Add two more X's to that. Uh. I'm just trying. I'm gonna show y'all what people are saying. No way, Lamelo ball, <laughs> Lamelo LaFrance ball had nine assists before the fourth quarter ended the game. Hold on, before the fourth quarter, then he ended the game with nine assists. You couldn't get one more, exactly. Somebody else said Lamelo ball get one assist, man. Yeah, that's how I was feeling. Yeah, that would have been a safer bet just to bet five assists, yeah. And he definitely got 30, I think he got 31 or 35 points. Yeah, he got 35 points at the end. He had 31 in the fourth, I think. Yeah, so it won't let me scroll. That's crazy. I don't know why Twitter is tripping right now. I can't scroll. It's way more tweets than that. Yeah, I can't scroll, bro. I don't know what what they got going on right now. Do I gotta make the I gotta make this smaller? Let's see if that works. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't scroll for some reason. They don't want y'all to see the truth. But yeah, it's if you go in go on Twitter or go on X, whatever you want to call it, and type in what I typed in, Lamella Ball Ten Assist. And then don't just let it show you the filtered results, which says top. Go to latest right here. Go to this tab that says latest. And you're going to see a lot of people voicing their frustrations about this rigged ass NBA and, and what just happened tonight. Yeah, man. So that's all I wanted to show y'all. Um,. I should stream later on that day. I can't stream from PlayStation right now because they they've um 
violating my First Amendment rights and they muting my audio for no reason. I haven't gotten any email saying that I'm banned or I've done anything wrong to violate any terms. It's just that I speak this truth like I'm speaking now. I speak the same thing about 2K and how uh, rigged it is or how trash the game is and how they let cheaters and people with Zens and all them hackers and all that. So, yeah, I, I really think 2K got something to do with it, too, but because this is the second time that I've been muted by PlayStation and and my voice doesn't show up in the stream, like when I'm talking. So I don't know if I'm going to stream the game later, but I might just do a stream like this later, like directly from OBS, because uh, when I stream directly from PlayStation, my voice is not showing up, so. But yeah, y'all just catch me on the next one, man. It's your boy. You ain't got a PS5 yet. Let's see if I hit y'all with the intro or the outro. Where my joints at? Yeah, man. It's your boy. Come on, bro. You ain't got one yet. You ain't got it. Oh, y'all can't see that, huh? Y'all couldn't see that. Yeah, let me do that one more time. It's your boy. I'm about to sign out, man. Appreciate everybody tuning in. Appreciate this. The Prime sub from Real Gamer Worldwide. Come on, bro. You ain't got one yet. You ain't got a PS5 yet. And I'm gone.